Hello guys, what's up? Rajat from VFX World. Welcome back to our channel. This is Silver FX Rotoscoping Masterclasses. In this video, I'll try to cover the tracking part. So let's get started. So guys, thanks for showing us amazing response for our last two episodes video where I'll describe about UI interface and the shape divisions and the manual roto. So in this video, I am trying to cover the normal 2D tracking part and the planet tracking part because the Mocha tracking will be completely based on our next video. On that video, I am trying to cover the Mocha software and also Mocha tracking inside of Silver FX. So this is our basic footage here. So first of all, let me tell you that why we do roto in tracking method because the tracking is most important part and most exciting part in our industry. Uh, first of all, we do tracking just because of to take some time consuming part. That's why we do tracking. Okay, so uh, here we have the two kind of trackings here. So to go inside of tracking part, first of all, uh, we have to do a tracking. So if this is our tracker option. This is a tracker. The shortcut is shift and T. If you click shift and T, it will come here like this. So this is a point tracker, planet tracker and the mocha tracker. In this video, I'll cover only the point and the planet tracker. Okay, so if you go to this point tracker, you can find this backward like track backward track forward and track forward frame by frame this is a behavior like start frame every frame it like a keyframes and also by default it should be start frame this is like tolerance and most of the times we have to use it only 75 like by default but based on your footage you can change it by according to you this area is called pre-processing because this is only using only the footage if like in blurred or sharpness. So if you really want to increase some contrast of the footage just because of the tracking purpose, then you can exactly do it. Let me show you that. So just turn on the preview so that you can see this will come in black and white. So if you really increase the blur, the footage will start blurring and just click here to make it default. If you increase the sharpness value, it will start getting some sharpness and all. Just make it default. If you increase the contrast, see the contrast area is getting increasing. These kind of things are really important important some kind of shots I'm not telling about the all the shots but it will require from some shots which is really uh, needed for this kind of settings so I just turn off this preview one now remove flicker is basically used sometimes what happened after done the tracking there are some flickers over there so we have to remove the flicker so then we use this remove flicker to adjust all the flickerings automatically but sometimes this thing can exactly destroy your tracking so just try to avoid this okay then you can use this import option. So this import is exactly will be using on Mocha tracking part when you use some tracker data from the Mocha and we can import that data by using this import option. This is shapes, points, vertices option. Just turn it off. Then you can't see the first shapes, vertices and all. That's it. Okay. So to create some trackers there, first of all, we have to increase the gamma a bit. So I'm just increasing it to two so that you can exactly see it clearly. Okay. So we want to use this point tracker for rotoscope this area okay so if you are familiar with after effects you can exactly know about this point tracker there are two three types of point tracker like first is like one point tracking like a basic 2d tracking there is only the translation part over there and the second one will be like a two point tracking there we can use the scaling and rotation and translation and third one is four point tracking where you have to really use the corner pin data for perspective so i will show you each and every part here so to create some tracker you can exactly press the create here so that you can find out the same tracker which is already installed in After Effects as well. So this is the search area, this is the outer area. So this is the main tracking part. So, there, so in this area, whatever is there inside of this, this will be tracking. So here I'll just put it in this area, something like that. If you want to increase the it, uh, main area, so this will come like this. If you increase the search area, it will come like that. Okay, these are the some important steps here. If you really move this, you can exactly move it here. But Right now, I'm just making the placing of like this. Okay, fine. So to make it track by frame by frame, you can exactly press this option to make it like frame by frame or else you can press this track forward. So it will start tracking. You can see exactly it stick on their own space. Now, let me tell you one important and tricky part here. This is a production level tips, guys. If you really zoom inside of this, if you make now frame by frame tracking, you can exactly see the track will be refining. So if I make it to first frame, second frame you can exactly see the trackers are getting improving and also it will fix some data there so what happened exactly when the, you do the frame by frame tracking the tracker have much time to calculate each and every frame data and then they will fix it in a more clear way okay so if you have 300 frame 400 frames then the separate part you can play it the track or else if you have very less frames like 35 frames or 50 frames I suggest you to do it track frame by frame to get a very appropriate track here okay so the tracking 
tracking is done here. So what do you have to do? I just want to apply this track on a specific layer. So here you can find the tracker on this object list. So just click a new layer here. And first of all, what you have to do, select both here by pressing shift, you can select both. And here you can see this apply button here, just click apply. You can find out this match move option here where you can see this is positions X and Y is checking up here. Scale and rotation is by default off because this is only one point tracking or 2D tracking. So just press okay here. So now what happened in the layer, if you go to this timeline, you can exactly see this is transform matrix or transform data. This is your tracking data, which is applied on this layer. So just for a reference, if I make a shape by selecting this layer here, just like this. And if I play this, you can exactly see the shape is stick on their own space. Now this is only applicable on this much area because the tracker is tracked only this area. So the shape is stick on this space. So if I move the space here, like if I move the shape from here to here, it will it will be tracked, but it will like not feel like it's tracked properly because this area is tracked, not this area. Okay, so this is one point track done. Now I'll show you how about the two point track. So I'll just delete this layer. So this is my tracker number one, which is done. We have to go back to our tracking here. So this is first track, which is done here, right? So now we have to do the two point track. So just press Alt on your keyboard or click anywhere you want to use the track or else you can create the button by pressing this. So I'm just pressing Alt and create here to just make another tracker here, just make like this. And same thing, you can make frame by frame tracking to make it more crisp and clear. So the tracking is done. Now this thing is specifically for transform, rotation and the scaling, not for the perspective. But if you notice the footage, there is a bit perspective for changes on the mobile screen. Okay, so I'll just show you the same method for four point tracking as well. But if I'll show you on the two point tracking, I'll just take a new layer here and select all these three by pressing shift and holding that. And if you click this apply button here, you can now see the scale and the rotation is by default on here. So what happened if you just press OK here, it will automatically apply it with the scaling data and the rotation data and the position data. Okay, so just make it cancel here. And now I'll take one or two more points here. So just press Alt and click here to take another point here and just simply press the play button. I'll just doing it very roughly. You can take your own time and make it more precisely. And I'll just take another just for here to make the track on this area because I just want a four point track to make to show you the perspectives and all. Then just press here to track this area more clearly. I think this will make a very good difference. Okay, so the four trackers are right now done here. So what you have to do, take a new layer, select all these three, and by pressing shift, you can exactly do it. And now you can see this is the another option called average and merge. Don't use these options or don't use this remove flickers as well. Now you can press the apply button. You can't see any other option. You can exactly see the corner print tracking data is right now applied on this specific layer. Just press OK. Now you can select the layer and press B on your keyboard to directly jump on your timeline. And now you can exactly start drawing a shape, something around this. So I'm just making a very rough shape. I hope you guys will take your own time and make a very proper shape because in this kind of things, the shape should be very proper and as I told, very crisp and clear. So I'm just making the shape at very like roughly here. Now, if you really press play button, you can exactly see the shape is stick on their own space. Now there is one more trickiest part to check the track is exactly happening proper or not. Just select the layer, you can turn on the stabilize option. The stabilize means this area will be stabilized so that you can exactly see the tracking is good or not. Okay, so let's click the stabilize option where you can find this none active layer or roto. So if you click this active layer, which is this layer is right now activated, just click this active layer. So right now this layer is activated and this layer is stabilized. So if you press play button, you can see this is stabilized with this and you can exactly see the tracking is really well okay and if you press shift a you can see this color overlay and the tracking is really really good okay so this is called point tracking or 2d tracking or three point tracking or four point tracking whatever you want to say so guys now i will show you the planet tracking just press shift t to jump to this planet tracker option here you can find some different options but this area is exactly same so i'll just leave all this tracker and just press delete here and guys this footage link is in description box below you can download and start working so guys here you can find this backward frame forward frame same like that point tracker so here you can new option is called tracking features which is like auto so to make all the difference i'll show you the first the shape so just take a new layer and i'll just make a new shape here so just take a new shape and I'll make another shape, something like that. I'm just making it very roughly to show you what exactly happened when I'll do the planet tracker. Okay, so this the planet tracker is exactly using on the Mocha also. 
so i'll just go to shift t and you can find out after that you can see there is a lot of points will be popped up here so this is automatically planet tracker this kind of look like a new 3d tracker but this is not a 3d tracker this is a planet tracker so what planet tracker exactly did planet tracker uh, some tracking the textures over there so i can show you here what exactly it will do if you change the tracking features from auto to corners it will change it to like corner mode and if you change it to edges it will only change it to the edges part so by default you have to do it auto and the minimum features maximum features like 200 by 1000 which is by default pretty well so do not change it if you motion model like perspective to this one i think perspective is pretty good so i i suggest do not change and guys most importantly in production we are not using silhouette by default planet tracker we'll use mocha and we will use nuke for this planet tracker back because that result are more accurate and all then after that very simple just press this play button to just start tracking and all this is a very very simple planet tracker so guys this is it for this video of this tracking module and i hope you really enjoyed this amazing series of silhouette effects rotoscoping master classes and if yes don't don't forget to subscribe to vfx world channel and also comment your feedback about this video and for more upcoming videos follow us on our social media handles like facebook instagram linkedin and twitter all links are in description box below see you next time and next video will be based on mocha tracking so keep watching vfx world Bye-bye.